We are living in an age of incredible dynamism in both the public and private sectors of the fleet industry. We're living in an age of uh, incredible dynamism, if you will, in the fleet industry and in the fleet management profession. Uh, I think it's causing a lot of anxiety on the part of fleet professionals. It's causing a lot of excitement on the part of providers of uh, certain types of products and services uh, to uh, fleet owners. In the public sector, um, something that we've been prognosticating, and we're certainly not alone for a number of years, is the retirement of a generation of experienced fleet managers who, in many cases, came up through the ranks, started out on the shop floor. What they lacked in data analysis capabilities, they largely were able to more than make up for in terms of practical, hands-on knowledge and experience. So um, there's been a, there's a significant loss of institutional knowledge underway. Um, there has been underinvestment in human capital in both the public and private sectors for 30 years. So a lot of uh, public sector jurisdictions that we're working with are waking up to the realization that they have no succession plan. They're not sure how they're going to manage their fleet when Charlie retires at the end of June. Um, they presume that they'll be able to go out and put out a job posting and hire a replacement for Charlie, but there are a lot of cases finding out that's not as easy as they thought it would be. Um, in the private sector, we're you know, in the eighth year of uh, economic expansion. My sense is that uh, there's not a lot of motivation to look for cost containment, cost reduction opportunities. There is a lot of investment being made in information technology. That's what you expect to see. When the economy is good, as organizations are thinking more strategically I think the whole big data phenomenon is uh, bearing down on both public and private sector fleet managers. I think in a lot of cases, you know, large commercial and corporate entities are better positioned to invest in information technology solutions and begin to apply you know, business intelligence and other uh, types of uh, data-driven uh, business practices to the, the realm of fleet management than is true in, in uh, the public sector.